And then when it got to like 50, 60 days, you know, two months until the exam, Second half, I, really, yeah. I really cranked it up. So right. probably double that, probably three to four hours a day. Wow. And then more, more on the weekends. That captures everything very well because you have to put in a level of effort before you are able to make sense of everything. And there's a level of belief, trust as well that comes into play that you're not going to see the progress right up front. Wow. Okay. Can you elaborate on that? In what sense you found it different? Well, it, so on the FE, you know, obviously there's, it, it's, it's a breadth thing. There's many different topics, you know, testing you on your undergraduate stuff. Um, but then on the PE here, you just have a handful of topics. I think it was four, four main sections. Um, but then you, the conceptual and the detailed understanding on those four sections are, are much deeper. Yeah. yeah. So. I did all the on-demand. I didn't skip anything. I went through all the live trainings, every problem, made sure I understood it. Many exams and practice exams went through and every problem that I missed, I made sure I understand why I missed it or uh, made sure I understood the solution. Hi, Troy. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year and uh, congratulations on passing your P-Power exam. Happy New Year. Thank you. You did both FE Electrical and P-Power exam prep with me, correct? Yes, that's right. Yeah. So let's go through your exam preparation journey. Um, let's talk briefly about the FE exam first. Uh, you s started FE exam preparation in 2023, right? Yes. I started studying on May 1st, actually. Okay. I see you remember the exact date. <laughs> yeah. And you took the FE exam when? Uh, late August. I think it was August 28th. Okay. So when it, within about four months, right? With four months of preparation? Yes. Right. And you passed it in the first attempt. And if you go a little bit back, you graduated in 2016. Is that right? Yes. I graduated in December of 2016. Right. So quite a bit of a gap between graduation and taking your FE exam preparation. And uh, I was talking to you uh, before the interview, you worked in utility and in consulting environment. So I guess it's more in the MEP consulting environment where you realize that the P license holds a lot of value. Is that right? Right. Yeah. That's when I uh, recognized that there was more incentives for it. Yeah. And, and I was hesitant to get it too, just because I knew I had to take the FE and the PE and based on just a little bit of research, it was going to be a lot of work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So procrastination <laughs> is a really powerful force, right? Yes. Uh -huh. But you got to overcome it. I was um, recently watching an interview of, uh, you might've heard his name, uh, Andrew Huberman, Andrew mm -hmm. Huberman and David Goggins, you know, David Goggins. I've heard of him. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a runner. I mean, he's uh there's a lot of accomplishments and they talk a lot about it. It's a two and a half hour long podcast, right? And the one thing that they kept on coming back to over and over and over again was essentially doing things that are difficult and that you don't enjoy because that's really what helps you grow and mm -hmm. develop the willpower and achieve bigger and better things in life, right? And the FE exam and the P exam, to be honest, are in the electrical domain or in from the career standpoint are one of those examples that hold people back because of how difficult, challenging, and overwhelming they are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So when you started your preparation on May 1st, I assume you signed up for my on-demand plus live training program, correct? For the FE, yes. And I got to study yet. Yeah. So what was the exam preparation approach like for FE? Well, for the FE... I started out with the on-demand and the study guide and did that for probably two months. Um, I was hesitant to sign up for the live training just because of I didn't know if I was going to be able to fit that in with the on-demand and the study guide. Um, but then I think we talked just a little bit um, and I ended up signing up for the live training. Right. So then I started attending the live trainings. Um, on the weekends. Um, so for the, for that next two months, it was, it was live trainings and on demand. Right. And how did the live training help you? How different was it from the on demand? And I think looking back at it, you would probably agree that was a good decision to do the. Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. Just in terms of, 
of FE and PE overall, um, live training was probably the number one help. Um, right. Mainly, uh, you know, of course, the the face to face interaction and the the live chats and the questions and all, um, but also it, it's just a different format than the on demand. Um, you 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 kind of slow down and go into uh, first principles, but then some, you know, some of the details, some of the caveats, some of the the nuance involved in the different concepts and stuff, and uh, the recording is available, so. If you need to to rewatch or, or go through some some of your weak areas, you can go back through the recordings, which I did for both the FE and the PE. Right. Yeah. So Troy, when you decided to pull the trigger and dive into the FE exam preparation, right? And I don't think that you would disagree even after passing both of these exams in the first attempt in relatively short period of time. In fact, very short period of time, that this was not fun. Right. It did take a lot of discipline, a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifice on your part. What is it that actually kept you pushing forward? Let's say let's talk about FE first, right? Uh well, I I kind of just set a goal for myself that I was gonna pass this in the first attempt. Um, so I I always kept that in the foreground and I knew that that it was a time on task thing. Um time on task and fundamentals, you know, which is which is first principles. Um, that's kind of what got me through college. <laughs> so, so I knew that's what it was going to take to, um, to do this and just setting that, keeping that goal in mind, it really helped. And, and you were not second guessing yourself that maybe I should push this out. Maybe uh, the four month target is not practical. Let me sort of just ease up a little bit. Let me sort of, you know, take a little bit of break here and there. How did you keep those thoughts at bay and stayed on track? Uh, yeah, that, that's a good question. So probably mainly was doing everything you said. Like if if you recommended something, I would I would just do that. No no question. So it was it was kind of like a, a trusting you thing in a way. So I did all the on demand. I didn't skip anything. I went through all the live trainings every problem made sure i understood it mini exams and practice exams went through and every problem that i missed i made sure i understand why i missed it or uh, made sure i understood the solution um, so that that's probably the main thing okay and you got the result uh in august uh, the result that you desired the result that you had been working for <laughs> yeah. for several months right and that was a great feeling and I recall, um, you know, you sending me an email, hey, we we'll see my pass, so thanks. And my response in that was that, congratulations, your job is sort of half done. This is what <laughs> I tell most of my students. What are you thinking about B power now? And I think that you replied back and said that you're not too sure if you're going to jump into B power right away. I eventually convinced you that that's the right way to do. And you had a personal you know, event happening, life happening as well. So you um, were a little bit tentative, but you decided to dive right into the PE power exam preparation. So walk me through what was going through your mind and how you then, when you thought that one job is done, you started the next project right away. Uh, yeah, well, I was already, I was already into the FE and I had some, some study habits built up. I had some some things in place that were helping me and and I knew if I just kind of just kept in that mode that study mode if you will um, that that was probably going to give me the best chance right so I took a week off I took like probably a week off on a camping trip um, after the FE and then um, as soon as we came back literally that next Saturday it was the first live training for the PE um, and I, and I just started. Yeah. And P is very different from FE, correct? Oh yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Can you elaborate on that? In what sense you found it different? Well, it, so on the FE, you know, obviously there's, it, it's, it's a breadth thing. There's many different topics, you know, testing you on your undergraduate stuff. Um, but then on the PE you're you just have a handful of topics. I think it was four, four main sections. Um, but then you, the conceptual and the detailed understanding 
on those four sections are, are much deeper. Yeah. Yeah. And how long did it take you to adjust to the P power mindset when you saw that the first class that we had and, uh, you know, the live training has just started again. So the first class that we had for PE power, it was about three and a half hour long session. Right. So how quickly were you able to adapt to that? It, it took a few weeks. Right. I, I had to adjust several things like the, the, the way I'm studying, the way I'm approaching each, each section, you know, kind of had to slow down in the on demand, um, do a lot of pausing and work, working the problems or, or rewinding, you know, that sort of thing. Right. And this time around as well, you use the same combination on demand course, live training and the study guide and obviously the practice exams after that. Right. Yes. Yeah. And actually on, so on the FE, I used the study guide, not, not the entire time, but a lot. And then on, on the, on the PE, um, I bought the study guide, but then I honestly, I really didn't use it. Right. Um, just because I was, I was really focused on the on-demand um, and then the live training and then the practice exams. There, I, I just really didn't have enough time. You know, I was, I had set this date, I scheduled the exam, you know, the PE exam really early, probably in mid, mid or late September, I scheduled it for December. So I had already had that set in stone and I didn't want to delay it. So like I was squeezed a little bit. So the live training and the on-demand were, were the two main things. Right. And talking about the time, did you keep track of how many hours roughly you spend for FE exam prep and PE exam prep? Um, yeah, I can give you a rough, rough numbers. So what, what I remember is like the, the first half of preparation for each, each exam, I, I kind of was like a, a slow and steady type thing, you know, um, two hours a day, roughly, um, maybe three hour, uh, well, yeah, three hour, three or four hours on Saturday, three or four hours on Sunday for that first half. And then when it got to like 50, 60 days, you know, two months until the exam, Second I half, really, yeah. I really cranked it up. So probably double that, probably three to four hours a day and then more, more on the, on the weekends. So three to four hours a day, that's about 20 hours, 50, let's say 15 hours during the weekdays and uh, roughly that much during the weekend. So you were pushing 25 plus hours, 30 plus hours easily per week. Yeah, yeah, 25, yeah, give or take, you know, roughly, okay. yeah. And that's in the second half, which is about two months, eight weeks. So that's, yeah, that's, I think if anyone wants to get the exam done back to back, right, in a relatively short timeline, so four months of prep, for FE and in fact, less than four months of prep, about just about four months of prep for PE, this is really what you need to aim for. You cannot be a clock watcher. Uh, the the phrase that you use, task at time, right? Um, yeah, that's, time that's, on task. Sorry, time yeah. on task. Time yeah. on task. Um, that's, I think that's uh, that captures everything very well because you have to put in a level of effort before you are able to make sense of everything. And there's a level of belief, trust as well, that comes into play that you're not gonna see the progress right up front, right? But exactly. if you stick with the plan, and that's true with anything, right? Whether you're working out, whether you are sort of on a diet or any big goal that you're trying to achieve. Right, so, yeah. So amazing advice. Thanks a lot, Troy, for your time. I really appreciate it and great achievements. And these are some of the things that are gonna pay you dividend for all the effort that you've done um in the long run and uh, you'll continue yeah, absolutely to do yeah thank you i appreciate both both courses and would absolutely recommend them yeah okay thanks troy thank you if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe this channel Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section of this video below. You can find tons of stories of my FE Electrical and P-Power students over here. And if you want to learn more about preparation of these exams, then click here to learn more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.